Google has been testing its self-driving cars in California and Texas, but the idea of a driverless car being a money-making business has seemed futuristic until now. Enter John Kraftcheck, an auto industry veteran who Google has hired to lead its self-driving car project. Kraftcheck has decades of experience in the auto industry. He's currently president of TrueCar, the online car shopping service, and previously spent five years as Hyundai's U.S. president and CEO, and was chief engineer of Ford's Expedition and Navigator SUV division. Google feels confident enough in the technology right now um, that it can hire a CEO to focus on the business aspects of it. So far, it's mostly been about the technology and updating it. So the next stage is going to be working out um, how to manufacture the cars and, and, and then coming up with a business model. And, and Kraftcheck is going to be the one to, to do that. Google knows, for one, that it can't actually make, manufacture cars in high volume. If they did that, they would have to hire tens of thousands of people and um, the car business, the business of making cars is a, a lot less profitable than Google's main um, other businesses like internet search. And while Kraftcheck manages the business side of the driverless car project, there is still a full slate of challenges Google faces. And they have to make the car in enough volume that the, there's a business model that's viable that they'll bring in enough revenue and then hopefully make a profit. Um, the next decision would have to be whether they're going to have individuals like me and you buy the car and, and drive off with them like we often do with regular cars or whether it's going to be some type part of some type of on-demand service a bit like uber where you can maybe call a car hail a car with a with a um, smartphone app and, and the car knows where you are and it comes to you and takes you where you need to go and then once you've been dropped off you can go and get someone else regulatory wise um, the regulations still have not caught up with where the technology is i would say right now for instance in california um, the car is able to do public test drives on public roads but california still has not completed the full car self-driving car regulations yet and, and that's been delayed by uh, many months already 